Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this video, we are going to understand async await concepts of C Sharp using a real life use case that is Pizza Shop. Please note that the example that I am going to give is for absolute beginners only. However, other level of viewers can also gain knowledge from this video. Here, Adam started a new pizza shop. He don't have much investment, so he don't have human resources. Himself is a owner, chef, manager, and everything. Now, customer Mr. X came to order the pizza. Adam went into the kitchen and preparing the pizza. Meanwhile, customer Mr. Y came to order the pizza. He cannot order the pizza until Adam comes back to the billing counter and take his order. He must have to wait until Adam comes back. As Adam getting blocked inside the kitchen and not able to take the orders, he recruited a new chef and Adam used to take care of the billing counter. And this setup was working fine until his customer base increased. Now the chef is not able to handle the orders. So Adam recruited one more chef. This setup was working fine until his shop became so much popular and the customers increased. Now simply increasing the number of chefs may not work because there will be huge lines at the billing counter. So he increased the number of billing counters and also the chefs. Now let us understand async await concept with the help of this scenario. Imagine Adam's pizza shop as IAS and if you see here IAS worker thread is processing request one and it is blocked by some operations like IO operations or DB calls etc. Meanwhile request two came and this request cannot be served until IAS worker threads completes its operation and returns back to the IAS. Just imagine the same scenario in case of multiple requests. So here if you see all the worker threads are processing the requests and if any new request comes they will go into the queue and if they are not processed within some stipulated time they will get timed out. Please note that IAS maintains a pool of worker threads because there will be a performance overhead in creating them so it creates and maintains a pool so this is a overhead to the ias so it can be mitigated using async await concept so just like in the pizza shop here if any request comes ias worker thread simply delegates that task to background clr threads these threads are cheaper to create unlike IAS worker threads. So here if you see the first IAS worker thread is delegating the order info or the task to the third CLR thread and this is called as context switching and after delegating this work to the background CLR thread it returns back to the pool. Now once the background CLR thread finishes the operation, it will return back the response to any of the IAS worker thread that is free. Please note that in our example, the first IAS worker thread delegated the work to this thread. But here if you see, this is returning the response to the fourth IAS worker thread. Now let us understand this concept programmatically. Here I have created a console application and this is not a complicated program. This is a very easy program. Here we have the main method and this is an async method. And here we are printing the statement main thread ID before making the pizza. And here we are printing the thread ID. And after that we are calling prepare DAO async. And if we go into this method, we are simply printing this statement and also its thread ID. And after that, we are calling prepared pizza async. And inside this also, we are printing its thread ID. And after that, here we are printing this statement main thread ID after making pizza. And here also we are printing the thread ID. There is a misconception that if we use async await keywords, it will create a new thread and that thread will do the processing. But that is wrong. 
let us run this program and see so here the program is running and if you see though we have used async await keywords everywhere in our program all this processing was done by only one thread that is thread id one so what is the purpose of having async await keywords over here so if you remember when we discussed about the pizza shop i told you about the blocking operation so here if you see we don't have any blocking operations so that is the reason the task scheduler of dotnet framework is not creating any threads now let us modify this program a bit now i have added a delay of 2000 milliseconds inside this prepare pizza async method this is because just to mimic that this method is having a blocking operation I am running this program now and here now it is waiting for two seconds and after that if you see initially this program was started by thread one and when you see the delay inside prepare pizza async method it created one more thread and the main thread returned back to the pool now thread four processed that method and after that the same thread processed the main method also if you run this program in your machine, you may see different results because this all depends on the processor and also the number of cores. Also, there are so many other parameters. If this video is helpful to you, please like this video, provide your feedback in comments and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.